so that our students, for example, Honorable Speaker, the Technical University of Nairobi has a population of almost 20,000 students, but the number of hostels they have as an institution is less than 500. And this means that we have had mushrooming of slums around universities. If you go to Kenya University, the students there live in KM. If you go to the University of Nairobi, there is a slum around all our institutions of higher learning. And therefore, the bill will propose to have a particular provision and a particular percentage going to institutional housing, especially targeting our civil servants, our teachers, our police officers, and most importantly, our students, so that the students can live near where they go to school and they can have a conducive place to learn and to acquire knowledge without having to go through slums to be marked at night when going home, and the risk of them being, uh, their, their hostels being, uh, their, their rental houses being locked, and them uh, even staying out of school, Honorable Speaker. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I beg to support this uh, bill, and again, tomorrow during the Committee of the Whole, the Joint Committees will be proposing an array of amendments to safeguard the, 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 uh, uh, some of the things that our members, especially from the minority side, has raised. I beg to move, Honorable Speaker. Order, Honorable Member.